it's monthly favorites time. So I'm a couple of days late. Um, I normally like to put these up at the end of the month that I am showing the favorites, but I have been really busy last week and I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video for a week. It's actually kind of the longest I've gone without posting a video. So I guess we'll get stuck straight into it. Okay, now I've got a couple of things to show you today. And a lot of this stuff is drugstore stuff, which is really good because I know I do get a lot of requests to do more drugstore hauls and things like that because they're more affordable. So I guess we'll get started. Okay, I'll start with what I'm wearing on my lips. If you can see, I've just got this really poppy pink kind of lip. I got this only like about a week and a half ago, but it is the best lipstick that I think I've ever bought actually. It's just a Revlon lipstick. And it is in the color matte 11, which is in stormy pink. And it's just a really pretty pink color. It's so pretty and so gorgeous. And I love the finish that it gives to your lips. Like it's not shiny or um, juicy looking or anything like that. It's just a really matte um, finish. And I think it applies really well. It's really pigmented and it is by far my favorite lipstick of the moment. And um, they don't have many ranges in this color in Australia. I'm not sure about America, but I think they only had like six different colors. This and the red were the only bright ones. The rest were like more of a natural and nude kind of color. So it's a bit of a shame. I wish they had more in this range, but it's in the super lustrous lipstick range, if that helps. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll stay with lips as well. I had a cold sore coming up last week. I did not, I have not, I should say, had a cold sore in about two years and I hate them, they're horrible. I heard somebody say, I don't know if this is true or not, but once you get one cold sore in your life, you've actually got it in your system then that you're susceptible to get more cold sores in the future. So anyway, I actually had used this, um, when did I use this? Never mind. But anyway, I think I lent it to my, I think I bought it and I lent it to my mum. That's why there's not much left, but I used just the smallest amount and my gosh, like it disappeared overnight. I felt the tingle and I felt the blisters start to come up in the afternoon. I put it on like straight away that afternoon and by the morning, my lips were completely perfect. And I'm like, oh, save ya. Like I was just so happy. And it's the Abreva. I think you can only get this in the States. I think I got this from Walmart. Um, and it's like the tiniest tube, but it'll like last you forever. Well, not forever, but it'll last you a really, really long time. So it just says cold sore, fever, blister treatment. And my gosh, it works. Like, love it. Like normally I would have a cold sore for like 10 days and it would be like all scabby and bloody. And when I smile, it will crack. And they're just the most horrible things. So that is a lifesaver. Okay, moving on to eyes. I've got a few eye things. I guess I'll start with the palettes. Um, you may have seen this in one of the video tutorials that I did, but I bought the Choose Chi Chi um, Eye Shadow Quad, and this is in Glamorama. And I shall open it. The packaging is really cute on these, actually. It's just like this silver, silver and gold packaging. You pop it open. And they're the colors. They're just like these really neutral, um, shimmery colors. They're not glittery, glittery, but they're just a really nice shimmery colors. And I've used that quite a bit this month, um, and I'm really happy. And I think this was $20 Australian. I think I got it on sale for like $15 or something like that. Okay, another quad that I got that I've been using all month is the Australis Paparazzi Perfect Quad. Well, I don't know if you call it a quad, there's more than four colors. It's the um, high definition eyeshadow. It's in the color Paparazzi Perfect. No, sorry, totally busted. Totally busted. And they're the colors there. Just really pretty party colors. I love the pink. I'm actually wearing the pink on my eye today and the whitey silvery color there as well. And this like beigey kind of goldeny color is really pretty too. So is the black, so is the purple. I love them all. So that's really cute. That one, I can't remember how much that cost. Can't remember. That's only available in Australia, I believe. Sorry, all you American guys. Okay, moving on. Eyes. I did buy this brush. It's the Eco Tools Bamboo Angled Eyeliner Brush. Um, and I'll just take it out. 
my battery's like really low I hope this doesn't cut out here's the brush here it's just it's really stiff bristles it is so good for like under here love it it's like the best the best brush ever and it's made out of bamboos and it's by eco tools just a really cool brush I'm really liking that one it's my favorite brush at the moment okay keeping with eyes I have I use this in one of my tutorials as well so you may have seen a couple of these things I got the face of Australia liquid eyeliner in black and it's eight mils and I'll show you the brush there's the brush it's just really really good eyeliner I'm really happy with it and that was like under ten dollars so I thought that was pretty good okay last thing for eyes but eyebrows I guess you can say I have been looking for like a good eyebrow um, crayon I ended up finding this one which was the the Revlon color stay eyebrow liner it's waterproof I got it in the color blonde even though my hair is well it was really dark it's really lightening up but I'm gonna go back to blonde really soon I think actually I would like your opinions on that actually do you think I should go back to blonde or kind of keep this this kind of browny blondy color because I'm kind of missing my blonde hair a little bit and you will be able to see my blonde hair in some of my original videos so tell me what you think um, but anyway here is the eyebrow liner I'll show you the liner side first it's, ooh, it's just a crayon that you just twist up wind on and it's like the perfect colors for my brows right now and the other side is like this brush and this is actually a really good brush like I'm really really happy with the with the brush so that was perfect this was like this was like $22 in Australia this lipstick as well was $22 in Australia oh my gosh the Sun has come out so they're pretty this is Australian prices though like as I've told you guys a lot like compared to America like you'd probably be able to pick this up for like eight bucks and same for this but that's Australia yeah kind of used to it now um, okay Actually, speaking of brushes as well, I have had this brush for a while. It is the MAC 150 powder brush. And um, I just wanted to include in my monthly favorites because this is the brush that I use all the time. And I actually really, really like this brush. So this is a really good brush if you want, kind of want to um, get it to start your collection. I would probably start with this one. It's You can use it for a lot of things as well. And using that brush, I use this a lot. This is my setting powder. It is the Makeup Forever. And it is the high definition powder so I use that quite a bit too so I'm really really liking liking this makeup forever have really good products they don't sell them in Australia though as far as I know so when I go back to the States in a couple of months I'll definitely be stocking up on a lot more of their stuff okay keeping with face Okay, this is something that I've used all through my teenage years, pretty much all through my adult years. And I've gone off it for like the last year or so, but I just kind of bought another bottle and tried it again. And I absolutely love this foundation. Like I, it's so cheap, drugstore, drugstore foundation, but it's the Revlon Color Stay. I just, I just think that this has such great coverage and it's really good for you guys coming into the summer overseas for when you want to have some coverage and you want to go to the beach or go to the pool because it's completely waterproof and budge proof and smudge proof and all that kind of proof and it's just I use number 240 medium beige but I just I vouch for this I just think it's a really good foundation I've got lots of different foundations I'm not saying it's the best but I'm just saying that it's just a classic that I've stayed with for a really long time and I really like it okay I got this if you'll see in my recent video um, finding Mr. Bright but I bought this from Benefit and it's got Girl Meets Pearl Posy Tint High Bean and a Race Pace inside it's just a really cute little kit you pop it open it's got a little mirror here and it's got all your kind of deluxe size samples of everything I've got the Girl Meets Pearl on my face right now I kind of just put it on my cheeks to give that nice little um, kind of illuminization to your skin and this has the nicest smell actually it smells like it smells like berries, like strawberries and stuff. And then Posy Tint, which I've got on my cheeks as well. You get that one. You get a race paste in the color number two medium. And then High Beam, which is my favorite thing out of this kit. I love it. There it is there. And I just kind of put this here and here to give me that little kind of um, 
highlighted look. So I'm loving that kit. Um, I think this was $45 Australian, but I think it's like $35 or $38 American. So yeah, that's a really, really cute kit. And I love Benefit Cosmetics. Like, they're the best. Really, really good. Okay. On my nails today, I've been looking like it. Well, I, was, ugh, I can't speak. <laughs> On my nails today, I've got this like white. It's, it's kind of an off white. I would say maybe like an ivory white. But I've been looking for like a white nail polish for a while. And I found this one by Modelista. I've never tried these um, nail polishes before and it's the color is on location Santorini and I just think it's a really nice white whitey kind of eggshell white color it's just really nice and I'm really happy with it so I'm including it in my April favorites because I really like it okay two more things to go and then we are done um, hair and body hair I've been using this um, I probably should have put this in a favorites quite a while ago because I have used it through the summer here and it's now getting colder even though you wouldn't tell today it's like such a warm hot day but it's a KMS um, survival cream it is for like um, when you're out in the Sun or if you're going into chlorinated pools and things like that it's really good protectant for your hair when I when I'm blonde which I normally am I go my hair goes green a lot if I go into chlorine pools and stuff like that but if I put this in my hair as soon as I hop out it really protects and conditions my hair it's just a leave-in conditioner it says conditions restores and protects and it's like an after sun conditioner basically it's all it says but it's really good and I love it and I use it all the time in the summer so I thought this could be a good product for you guys over in the states because I know it's getting warm over there and I'm sure you guys are going to be hitting the beach and hitting the pools and that kind of thing last thing which you might not be able to see but I'm wearing it on my skin at the moment it's the illuminate me and it is pink shimmering body cream. It's from Sports Girl, which is a store here in Australia. So I'm not sure, no. I, they don't have these stores in America, but I don't know if they have worldwide shipping or not. But I, they have really great clothes and accessories and everything, but they also have like a beauty section as well. And I got this and it's really, really nice cream. It was $10. It smells like coconut, I love it. And um, it just gives this really pretty glittery, shimmer to your skin i don't know if you if the like the sun is kind of picking that up or not but it's really pretty and it smells divine okay so that is everything for my april favorites guys i hope you enjoyed this stuff a lot of this stuff is really affordable and um i've used it except for the lipstick i've used all of it for the whole month really really happy with them all and i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time Bye.